today I wanted to show you guys my beach fishing setup, specifically just kind of like the pole setup. So right here I have a pretty sturdy rod and it's rigged with 20 pound monofilament and this will catch you most fish on the beach. Um, I have a few break offs there once in a while 20 pound monofilament but they're pretty rare and usually they're sharks. But uh, basically here's a basic rig I've tied and I catch a lot of whiting and pump or pompano and stuff like that and they're pretty small fish so you got you want to use fairly small hooks. Here's a two row circle hook I'm using. And uh, I think this is a must add, but all types of brands work and uh, really sharp point. And so basically, I've just kind of done a two, or a two hook setup here. Um, I have a leader from my weight that's about a foot, and I have two hooks tied off. And uh, I'll rig both these with baits. Um, it's better if you can get this hook kind of a little bit away from your main line. Maybe try and put this on a swivel too and have it swivel around your main line. But for, for today, I just kind of tied it on, which is fine. Um, so I have these two hooks and here's the sinker with the beach fishing is you got to have a pyramid sinker or you have to have a Spudnik sinker or some other sinker that's built for the or the waves because like an egg sinker and bank sinkers will just even if you have an 8 ounce bank sinker or egg sinker the waves will just roll it all into the beach and it won't keep your weight out there but if you have something that's flat and digs into the sand like this pyramid sinker or, um, or other types of sinkers that are built for the beach, um, it'll work. So definitely pick up some specialized sinkers. Right here, let me show you uh, how I have this uh, swivel set up. So right here I have it so I, if a fish takes my line, it can actually pull and it won't feel the weight of the sinker because I have to have a four ounce, or this is actually, I have to have a three to four ounce pyramid sinker to keep it on the bottom out there, otherwise it'll, uh, the waves will wash it in. But if a fish feels that weight, they'll let go of the bait before they get hooked. So I have a, a little swivel right here so the weight can actually slide. So if it's sitting in the sand like this and the fish takes it and I have a little bit of slack, it can pull without feeling the weight of the sinker and you're more likely to hook up on a fish. Um, the next thing is the reel. The reels, I really recommend spin reels or open reels for the beach. Um, you're dealing with a lot of sand. If you have a closed reel, that sand gets in there, it grinds down your gears, and uh, the salt really corrodes. You can't wash out the salt as good, the salt water, if you have that closed reel. Another good beach fishing setup right here is just a pompano rig, and you can buy these at Walmart uh, and a lot of other stores. But basically here I have three hooks, so the swivel ties onto my main line. And then I have a dropper with three hooks, and each one there's a little float, and it keeps it off the main line. So this will float up, and you'll have your bait, first bait here, you'll have your second bait here, third bait here, and then here, this little clip right here, you clip it into your pyramid sinker, like this, and now that buries itself into the sand to keep your line taut, and you have three baits all floating with these hooks. But I would like you to notice that like with some of these cheap rigs, these hooks are not very good. You might want to replace them with your own. Because I only use this a couple times and the tips are already dull. And uh, so basically I'm going to throw out this rig and I'm probably just going to have to make my own or switch out the hooks. So do be aware of the hooks getting dull pretty quick with those cheap pump and rigs but they really do work well. Um, right here I have two other poles that I have and just some PVP pipe to keep them up as a rod holder. But uh, anyway, for these two poles, this one's a little bit bigger. This pole, every once in a while, I'll catch rays, and um, you can catch redfish on them with a bigger hook, and sometimes I catch sharks. And basically, to keep sharks from breaking through, I actually have a wire leader here that's 45 pound test. But uh, mainly, this is to target like redfish, and sometimes stingrays are fun to catch. But a 10 circle hook attached to a 45 pound wire leader, again, I have the swivel and it just slides through the pyramid sinker and this is 40 pound test line, so a lot heavier. I recommend going no lower than 20 pound test for the surf. 20 pound test is a really good number, but if you want the bigger fish, you're gonna need to go 40 or 50. Here's my other pole, and this is just a simple lure. And I uh, just tied on a lure, this is a gotcha lure, which is a really good lure a lot of times for the surf. I catch a lot of ladyfish. If you're lucky, you'll get Spanish mackerel if they come in close in the mornings. And so there's kind of my setup. Again, I would recommend 20 pound test line, pyramid sinkers, and then get yourself one of these pompano rigs at Walmart. And if these things, if you notice these hooks are getting dull, just replace them with some 3-0 circle hooks and you're good to go.
But I hope you learned something here today and thanks for watching.